<laughs> Hello viewers, this is Sarah reporting. Today we are going to do a tutorial on drawing blood. It's very simple, so I'm going to go get a volunteer. I'm not going to draw their blood today, but I'm going to set it all up for them. So I couldn't find anybody in the United States um, who would be a willing volunteer. So I have to go overseas. I'll be back shortly. Cut. Woo! It was a long journey coming, but I managed to find an Italian volunteer. How are you, Artie? Oh. How do you feel about me uh, drawing your blood? Spero che non sia la prima volta. Great! We'll get started right away. Step number one. Look at both arms. Look at some options, you know. I've already perused the arms. I'm going to save us some time, and I don't like this one. So I'm going to do this arm, okay? Arm sinistra. See? <laughs> His left arm I'm going to do, okay? And you look at the... Um, anticubital area and see what you have here. Also, you can look at the hand. So it's kind of like you're eyeballing it. Well, I also, at this point, you should have all your equipment together. Um, I have my, my gauze and my tape prepared. Um, I have my gloves. I actually do not have gloves with me here at my house, so pretend that I have them on. Thanks. Okay. Cut. <laughs> Step number two is apply the tourniquet. I think this is the worst part of it, so I'm very sorry, Archie. Maybe it's the Archie, Archie. This is going to be tight. Okay. So when you put the tourniquet on, your veins often pop out. If you have a dehydrated patient, they're hopeless. But, you know, usually the vein pops out. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but it's a beauty. It's a beauty! It's juicy. Sometimes I hit it. <laughs> I don't know what you're saying, but it's perfectly fine, I'm sure. Um, when you hit it, it actually makes the vein pop out. If you have a really tough stick, sometimes if you put a warm washcloth over it, it helps too. So, I see what I'm going for and I'm ready to go. Also, it's important to note um, that you have to go by the feel of the vein, okay? Yes, I can see this vein perfectly, but I also feel it. And it's a perfect example of a textbook vein. It's spongy, it's bouncy to feel. Somebody once told me, go by, go by land, don't go by sea. And I was like, what? But it actually means, it doesn't matter if you can't see it, you still got to feel it. If you can't see it or feel it, well, that's a whole other story. You're going in for a blind stick. It's tough, but you do what you got to do. But this is a perfect one by sight and by feel, and we're all ready to go. You have to get to the feeling of feeling the vein first, so... Step number three, I think this is step number three. I'm not wearing gloves. Obviously I would be, but I don't have any. You rub the spot down with alcohol, okay? Let it dry for a little bit so it doesn't sting when the needle goes in. Okay. My favorite needles to use, and I think pretty much everyone's favorite, are uh, the butterflies. This is a 21 gauge, which is a little bit smaller than the 20 gauge, I believe I use. Yes. Don't quote me on that. <laughs> um, and they're easy because once you're in, you can see a flashback. Whereas straight needles, you don't really know until you put the vacutainer in, so it's a little difficult. Typically, you'd have a vacutainer on the other end of this. I'm not even going to take the plastic thing off for safety reasons, but um, this is your needle. You would take the plastic off, and you would make sure you hold it with the butterfly wings with the bevel up. The bevel's the hole. You do it with the bevel up. Okay, and then we're going to go into... What the... are you doing? You said that you brought me to Disney World. A New York? Yeah, adesso mi stai prendendo questo il sangue. Okay, okay. Anyway, I don't know what you're talking about, Arguidoro, but um, we're going to take it and you're going to go at an angle that's kind of deep enough. Um, I'm not good with numbers. I don't know the actual angle, but it's kind of deep enough, but not totally shallow because then you'll miss the vein. But if you go too deep, you can penetrate the vein completely. So it's, a, it's kind of like a feel thing. Okay, so after you have all your needed blood tubes filled, um, you're going to remove the blood tubes out there, put them aside, remove the tourniquet so you don't blood doesn't go gushing everywhere, always a clever idea. Get a piece of gauze, which is out of my reach right now, but it's down there. Put it over top of the needle, pull the needle out, and then before you do anything else, I always have the patient put pressure on their own arm with the gauze. 
put the safety cap over the needle, discard your needle, and then you're all set. Tape up the wound site, and you're all set. And after that, the patient should be happy, satisfied, unharmed in every way, and it's it. So I would like to thank Artitoro Pagnone for being a wonderful and willing volunteer. It's been a lovely experience, and I thank you all for watching. I hope that you learned something out of it. Ciao! Guarda, io chiedo risarcimento da anni. Chiamo l'avvocato, ti mando in prigione. Non hai capito niente. Yeah, exactly! I think we better get you back to Italy.